Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I am finally doing an update on my guinea pigs. Now you may remember back in January I got Dougal and he was about nine weeks old and he was this like little fluff ball. He was like the size of a very large hamster. He could fit in my hand. Well this is him today. He's uh, just about to, I think he's like six months old now and he has gone from weighing about 460 grams when I got him to 984 by yesterday so very near a kilogram Ted being a Rex he is one of the biggest breeds of guinea pigs so he is way over a kilogram but I'm very happy with Dougal's progress another thing you'll notice come here come here is his hair Look at this hair. This hair has had multiple haircuts. It is insane. I actually thought I would have more of a problem with it, but actually he rather likes being groomed and like, it's very easy. He'll just sit still and you can brush his hair and trim it. I do have scissors and I got like, I think they're horse and dog ones, but they're for like around the eyes. So if you look here, this is completely blunt, which I thought was probably the safest thing to use when it comes to guinea pigs. The other thing I thought about using was trimmers because I've seen people use that with longer haired guinea pigs and it, it gives a bit of a neater look because when I cut I'm quite blunt like I don't know how to cut hair but um Ted come back over here I'll give them some more food. They have some little brand sticks that they go crazy for. Come here. <coughs> okay okay guys stop fighting stop fighting. <laughs> One thing, these two were always, they don't actually fight, like, only just now, when I started filming, I witnessed Dougal try to hump Teddy, but in terms of, like, fighting when they're in the hutch, they never do, which is awesome to see, but when it's feeding time, come here, come here, and they want one thing, and that's lettuce, they go absolutely crazy for lettuce. He's doing this because he thinks it's like a toy, if he lifts it, he'll get a treat. I've got a dysfunctional gecko, that's gecko. See, what's wrong with me? Guinea pig, you're a guinea pig, yes, yes. I'll get him a toy, one sec. There you go, good boy, there you go. So anyway, back to Dougal. I actually thought having a long haired guinea pig would have a lot of problems considering, um, you know, it's something completely different to a Rex whose coat you really don't have to maintain too much. He's got a lot of guard hairs that really just need to come out and all you have to do is just pull and they come out. Um, but in comparison to a Rex, having a long head is quite the difference. And I thought I would struggle more, but actually, as I said, he enjoys being groomed. So that's really easy. He doesn't actually pee or poop too much in his hair. Like, I know he sometimes pees and then like that hair can go a bit skank so you just chop it off but I never see like poop getting stuck in there. Um, grease gland, grease gland isn't too bad. If you're new to guinea pigs, you don't really know much about them. They have grease glands that you have to clean. I think it's predominantly males that have it, but I think some females can have those issues. With a Rex, it's simple. You can see it, clean it. With Dougal, you have to like search underneath there. <laughs> he doesn't like that. So that's, that's just one of those things. Um, but the only problem I have, and I have to check regularly, is that he hasn't got hair stuck in his pee hole. Sometimes, obviously when he pees, it goes on the hair, and then when it, you know, goes, as you see my hand, it, as it goes back in, we get in the picture here, it gets stuck. And sometimes you have to pull it out. It doesn't hurt him or anything, but obviously you don't want that being, like, clogged up, because he can get, like, wee infections and stuff you don't want that so that is the only sort of problem but yeah he's actually doing really well and I absolutely love his hair my sister wants me to cut it but I'm like he's so pretty I have to cut it soon because obviously when the warm weather comes here we'll probably want it a little bit shorter but I'll just show you his little he has a little box for his like hair stuff and he's got these little clips now so when I want to trim his hair all I have to do put him back in the shot a little bit is just you know take a bit and clip it look how pretty so uh, also his trademark look at the moment is pigtails because he just looks adorable with them but yeah all in all having a long-haired guinea pig I thought would be a lot tougher 
but it's just the best. I absolutely love it. You can't really do as much hairstyles as you think you would because you don't want to hurt them, obviously, and there's just not, like, unless you do really small braids, it'd be difficult and then they would get annoyed anyway. But, yes, he is just the sweetest little thing. Oh! But as you can see, near his butt, that hair is going to need, like, a cut because there's a little bit of pee gets in there, but who are we to judge? Oh, and one last thing, I was out the other day. I don't know if you guys have Tiger all around the world. I think the shop originated in Denmark, but there's they had a hose pipe um, holder. But what I actually saw was a rainbow bridge for my guinea pigs to like crawl over. So I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. It's the first time they're seeing this, so they'll probably chew it. And I might put some fabric over the actual ramp don't eat the tag over the actual ramp <laughs> so um there's more grip what are you doing do you go <laughs> that's a tag <laughs> anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's video i know it's a little bit shorter but um i should really do more on guinea pigs like genuinely i actually love having guinea pigs they're the sweetest little things and they are pets like I can't speak for all guinea pigs but all the ones I've ever had that's free in total um they've just loved being sat on you and just falling asleep and being out and running around they're like yeah they're just awesome apart from you know they do eat a lot and they do poop a lot so you have to clean them out very often or they will smell you have to make sure you give them the right diet like a mix of vegetables but not too many of one sort compared to the other like there's a lot to it, but genuinely they are one of my favourite pets I've had. Like, I, I don't know what Dougal's doing now with that ball. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I will hopefully do more videos on guinea pigs. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's so cute. <laughs> Let's just watch him for a bit. Oh my god. He has these tiny little pink hands as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.